If you hate shopping for holiday gifts, I am here to help. It will probably not surprise you to hear that I believe that books are among the best gifts that anyone can give or receive. But there are so many books, so I am here to help you choose the right nonfiction books for the many different kinds of readers in your life. For music fans, we have the most essential book of the year, The Philosophy of Modern Song by Nobel laureate Bob Dylan, who's written a brilliantly entertaining and kaleidoscopic exploration of some of the greatest songs by other artists, from Stephen Foster to Elvis Costello, from Hank Williams to Nina Simone. Bob Dylan began working on this book 12 years ago and has compressed a lifetime of his wisdom about songwriting and musical history into this wildly original and beautifully designed work. For business people, I recommend How to Invest by best-selling author David Rubenstein, the co-founder of one of the world's largest and most successful private equity firms, the Carlyle Group. This book distills the wisdom of some of the world's best investors, their theories, their values, and their practices. For foodies, we have two tantalizing books. Somebody Feed Phil is based on Phil Rosenthal's beloved Netflix series in which he travels the world in search of a great meal. The book is full of stories and recipes from Marrakesh, New Orleans, Saigon, Rio de Janeiro, and Mexico City, including the best sandwich finds from San Francisco to Tel Aviv. Rosenthal is also the creator of the comedy Everybody Loves Raymond, so you can be assured that this book has a lot of humor and family in it. The Pasta Queen is the first cookbook by an Italian TikTok sensation named Nadia Caterino Muno, who comes from a family of pasta makers and shares over a hundred recipes and cooking techniques for a variety of dishes, including a classic carbonara and a creation she calls Assassin's Spaghetti, which sounds dangerously delicious. For travelers and history buffs, there is the perfect vicarious journey, the new bestseller by the master American storyteller Rinker Buck, Life on the Mississippi, an epic blend of history and adventure in which our audacious author builds a wooden flatboat and sails it down the Mississippi River, risking his life while also telling the story of America's first western frontier. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch describes it as a rich mix of history, reporting, and personal introspection, and the Wall Street Journal says it sparkles. For people with a sense of humor, Jerry Seinfeld is back with Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, a behind-the-scenes look at his groundbreaking series of caffeinated conversations with some of the funniest people in the world, including Eddie Murphy, Tina Fey, Jerry Lewis, Steve Martin, and Gary Shandling. If you love comedians or comedy or cars, this is the ultimate coffee table book. For the survivalist in your family, there's The Disaster Ready Home, a complete step-by-step -step manual for safely sheltering in place at home so you are prepared for any disaster or disease. I can't think of a better way of saying I love you even when you're paranoid. For anyone interested in learning a language, you can give a gift subscription to Pimsleur, which offers lessons in 51 different languages. The Pimsleur method is widely regarded as one of the best methods for learning basic language skills quickly. You can learn more about it at Pimsleur.com. And for art lovers and anyone who leads a creative life, Richard Lakeo has written a truly inspiring book called Last Light, how six great artists made old age a time of triumph. The six artists are Titian, Monet, Goya, Matisse, Hopper, and Nevelson. Lakeo shows how, in their final years, they continued to grow as artists, reinvent themselves, and create work that was dazzling and sometimes even revolutionary. And that is the word according to Carmen.